Hello, this is Alekius, and welcome to the start of a new series at the Encouragement from Others, where we work through the Naval Academy in Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, and kind of show how the game works in practicality, maybe even speculate a little bit on what that campaign will look like once it finally comes out. Yes, I've done a bit of these, and I'm working through it, but uh, I think I think I'm going to stick uh, running through this with you all now. Now the Gun Basics one is uh, destroy a light cruiser with a battleship, easing you into the actual combat system. This is a good choice for a second mission. You already built a battleship, you know what it's like. You notice they give you the same amount of money, the same bonuses. They're just having a light cruiser that shoots back now. Um, what we have are small guns plus 10, big guns plus 10, or small and big guns plus 4 and 5 with extra explosives tech. I will take the explosives tech, thank you. I intend to build one battleship, so we'll max it out. Reduce the range. No engine options, a little bit of armor, not worried about the extra, oh well, we, we don't get any options. Except for the possible citadel. I don't know if that really helps with the torpedo defense. Uh, torpedo damage received, minus 6%, minus 7%, it actually does. As it should. Uh, we'll figure out the rest in a little bit. I don't want a good tower, which I want one that's nice for the accuracy. Same for the rear tower. Put on one funnel to start. No barbettes. Do the heavy 13 inch. I'm not planning on it though, his performance is barely better than the Mark 212. And we have Mark 2s all the way across, and I am thinking. Let's see. 0.83. Rounds per minute, one round per minute. One round per minute. The damage is less than half of the 12 inch. I'm just gonna go with the 12 inch. And we don't have side turrets yet. Fill out the casemates. With the 6 inch, I do almost 3 rounds per minute with 200 damage. As opposed to the 5 inch, which are almost twice as often. Actually, the 5 inch might be better. Oh, because it's Mark II. Okay. Never mind, we're getting rid of those 6 inch. We'll do the, do the 5 inch. As, uh, sure, the penetration's better on the 6 inch. Not too worried about the penetration. But it's a Mark 1 to Mark 2. And we're putting 120 range, uh, 120 damage downrange at 4.4 rounds per minute instead of 3 rounds per minute. Under 3 rounds. That and I haven't done it with all 5s before. I don't think there are any additional slots on this design, but I'll check. That's a negatory. Uh, now, I know from experience I can stick two 4 inch or four 3 inch. Uh, 
And I think I'm gonna go with the three inch. Yeah, they're all Mark II's except for the six. If we stick one here, here, stick one there, and there. I don't think I can stick one in front of the bridge. I'm stick it too. I haven't really tried to do that. I know with certain bridges you can actually squeeze them in front. And that doesn't really have space there. And I wouldn't want to block the turret by sticking more back here. You can stick uh, one four inch. Torpedo launchers, might as well. Well, I don't know, we're, we're getting pretty heavy on weight now. Let's see if we can. Now for the shell weight, we'll go light, standard ammo. Here's our choices. Two and a half shell damage or four and a half with more range or more fire damage. I think I'll go with the gun cotton. Try to do enhanced reloaders. Standard torpedoes, 15 inch size. Okay, so everything costs too much. What do six inch guns achieve? Maximum three inch belt. So I think a four inch belt extended and the deck we can do one inch conning tower will be eight oh, we can go less there's no reason not to we'll do four inch do six on the turrets or top of one and secondary at fours. I'm not worried about the bulkheads. Have all the stuff we're looking for. Twenty eight five inch guns. Silly and awesome. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to check our engine efficiency. It's just covered. Is that 14? As we can't do forced induction. So we can waste weight. I haven't spreadsheeted this yet. I know, I should have. There's 100%. We get 93%, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, with 7 of these. I don't think that'll even reach 100%. That's a 7, that's a 7.5, that's an 8. Also heavy. Dual funnel is where we get to the first big jump. And uh, looks like we're going to have to do our standard funnels. Put them. No. We'll 
Looks a little silly to me. Then we'll boost the speed till... Oh, by nothing. We do. There we go. 5.8 inches of base armor for the turrets. And we have ourselves a nice 24 knot battleship. <laughs> go ahead and launch. And I know I didn't mention it in the last episode, I did in the comments. Love the sounds for the game. Of course, it's pretty. Looks like we have a lot of gunnery modifiers against us. There's the 12 inch. On the left, a little bit. Full broadside, throw off any torpedoes they may have shot. Ooh, they bounced something. Hey, a penetration at last. Against us. Funnel. somewhere. There's the primaries. This, this. No torpedoes. Awesome. There's a good hit on their main tower. Oh, he lit us on fire. smoke. Ah, oh, it didn't do her many good. Still got a 50% hit ratio with those 12 inch. Probably went with 12 instead of 9. Because of that right there. Selected them so we can see their constant display. They're not going to hurt us at all.
12 degree rudder is giving us minus 6%, isn't bad. see the five inch firing that often. These two. Like none of these are firing. Just these two. with the RNG as it auto generates your opponents or any ships on the friendly side that you don't design and uh, it has no torpedoes so we don't have to worry about that wow she's decks awash already low in the water at least, listing to one side. Wash and the fantail. Water washing over the main deck. Oh, you can see finally. Peak. Oh, it bounced. All right, the angle makes sense. It looks like they got that flooding under control. I 
28 5 inch and we're only using two of the 14 on that side. skipped off. And there she goes. That was Gun Basics 1. Gun Basics 2 is can use a battleship or heavy cruisers against another battleship. For this, I may optimize for main guns. Of note, the enemy has 9.8 inch max armor. And we can use the older style battleship if we want to. What kind of guns do they give us? We get the Mark II 13 or the Mark III 12. And if we go with the armored cruiser, max out at the Mark III 11. And I kind of want to try out the heavy cruiser on this one. Get as many heavy guns into the fight as possible. Go look at the the comparison though. We're sacrificing about one third of our damage or fifteen percent more rounds per minute. And we're gonna have to get pretty close. Because uh Two and a half kilometers. Two kilometers probably will, will consistently penetrate more consistently if it's full broadside. Whereas with the 12 inch, it's like three kilometers. I want to try it out though. Oh, we can't use Mark III. Sticks out too much. Oh, my plan foiled. And they have Mark One versions of the small guns. Oh, because the that'll be small gun tech. I revert to a different version. I haven't played with interface enough to know if maybe we can switch to the Mark II or... Hmm, doesn't look like it. And that battleship is much more expensive. We fit the 12 inch though. I'm going to use the cheaper battleship. Stick the fancy 12 inch on there. There's our front tower and looking at the base accuracy. Rear tower. At least some room for some wing turrets out there. Oh yeah, right. It's only three inch on this one. That's all right. We're fighting a battleship. Would it be that much to? Can do the armored cruiser anyways and use eight inch.
what they have for casemates for not that many most of the aren't, aren't those gun ports or two inch wow if we make a micro battleship then which is still gonna cost too much. Rats, they're really squeezing it on this one. Because after I add in everything, I get a lot of options here. All right, we're going back. I'm going to do the 8 inch. Disappointed as I am. So you know what? Get the 11 inch. Take it on the rear. Get the 8 inch. We'll stick it on the front. I don't care if it looks goofy. our four inchers on there. No three inchers. Plenty of two inch. They aren't going to do anything. They might light some fires. We'll get our main tower. Get our secondary tower. funnel and none of those have additional slots for the ace mates most importantly torpedo launchers we'll put one in the bow too now we'll take a look some of the rest of this it weighs way too much. Get no options there. Compound armor will work. We're not gonna go with any fancy options. Go with heavy rounds. Do standard, standard. Add in some reload. It'll be regular torpedoes. We can have three of these. They're not very fast. Let's see. Against a four inch gun, two inches of armor would be nice. Go with one. No deck armor. Two on the conning tower. And one on the secondaries. I haven't even placed any secondaries. set of fives maybe and we haven't optimized engine efficiency since we don't have forced induction we need about 15 16 
those three of these would work. Or two of these duels. And that'll be the cheapest option. I don't think those have casemates either. Some funnels do on some designs. I don't think we're going to be able to do it and have three cruisers. That would be awesome. I just don't think it's going to happen. So we're going to stretch it a little bit. what we can accomplish with 20 knots for a heavy cruiser that seems light granted these are like micro heavy cruisers go full size I'll fix that in a little bit and get up to 22 knots also try to protect a little bit better Well, they start as close. 1.8 kilometers. That's the forward 11 inch. Or no, that was the 8 inch? Oh yeah, because the forward gun is the 8 inch. The rear gun is the 11. 
There's her heavy guns. Go the four inch. The rear tower. There's an eleven inch. Let's turn into her. I don't think we're going to win with guns. I'm forcing her to maneuver for torpedoes to our benefit. Since so they're maneuvering too hard, they won't be able to use the guns at all. Torpedo. Having some better rudder controls would be nice. See that hit their belt with that eight inch and it just did a partial penetration. There's the torpedo. Come hard to right. Oh, straight into the uh the Citadel. Hard right, hard right. Oh, she's gonna take a torpedo. I knew they had a rear facing torpedo. Bunk. And that's pretty bad. And there goes the Santiago El Mayor.
for the 11 inch to fire. We're gonna come hard right. No, I didn't fill out the rest of the 2 inch. Not that that's a big deal. Dead in the water, but she's definitely not going very fast anymore. There goes our starboard torpedoes. One of them. I don't know, that looks like it'll be a bit off. Have a try. Oh, we lost our forward torpedo. Oh, we only fired the one torpedo because we only had one. This red mark, our starboard torpedo. a failed project. I want to try something different though. trying to easing up when the 11 inch tries to fire because that uh, accuracy malice is pretty bad Another non 
bomb penetrating hit with the 8 inch. The 8 inch just doesn't cut it for this. You're not gonna outgun a battleship with a heavy cruiser. four inch hits on us. are loaded. Our bow torpedo is gone, and so is one of the starboards. I just lost one of the port ones too. There goes the port one. engine damage for her again. Unfortunately, we're about to get hammered by these 11 inchers. 200 yards away. Oh, we got them good though. moment for the win. And down she goes due to fire. I expected that. I had to fight it out as best I could. But with that, we are out of time. So, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And I will see you next time. Take care.